Yeah, thanks, Cam. Okay, so with that aside, let's get into the beginning of your career since you kind of brought it up. But before we even get to the first time you learned about, you know, getting in the ring or not in the ring in that case, when did you first see wrestling? When did you become a fan? How did that click? Because my understanding is it came a little later in life for you. Is that correct? Yeah, it did. I uh, I didn't I didn't have Sky Television. I didn't have. Um, sorry, my phone's going off here. I didn't have. Let me turn it off. No, uh, we didn't. I didn't have cable. Like so, I I had no idea what it was. I remember going to school one day and seeing kids butterfly suplexing their backpacks around and everything, and everyone was super excited about it. And I remember thinking, what on earth is going on? Who is this uh, Stone Cold guy? And, you know, I had no idea. And, um, you know, I would borrow tapes and things like that for the kids. And uh, and I even found a WrestleMania 8 tape at my grandparents' house when I was a kid, too, which had no reason to be in there at all. They, they hated <laughs> wrestling. And they actually had a lot to do with me getting into the job in some weird way, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I would borrow tapes or stay over at, you know, my parents' friends' place until 1 a.m. to watch Raw and things like that. And I think I, I remember getting my hands on the 2000, uh, sorry, the 1998 King of the Ring. And once I saw, you know, the Undertaker and Foley match, I was instantly hooked then. I, uh, I, I didn't believe, I couldn't believe that you could get tossed off a cage or do any of this crazy stuff and get paid for it. You know, and I was like... <laughs> That is what I want to do. And then once the Hardy Boys came onto the scene, that's when I was completely sold. I was the biggest, and I still am, biggest Jeff Hardy fan out there. Um, and so, yeah, that was, that. I want, this was, like, I, being able to, especially in England back then, like, deciding that I wanted to be a professional wrestler was like saying that I was going to be an astronaut and, and walk on the moon, you know, an impossible, daunting task. Um but it was something that I, you know, it, it's the only thing that's ever gripped me enough. Uh, and it's the only thing I've ever really cared about um, <clears throat> job-wise, um, you know, enough to, I don't know, it, it's just something about it. It just hooked me and it's 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 been something that I can't shake. <laughs> 